it's the right time. There's no point in really belaboring it or dragging it out or saying, well, leave the door open in case, uh, I don't know, something may change. I don't think this is something, this is a decision that you can allow to, to have outside influence to dictate whether or not you continue to play. It must be a decision that comes from the fact. So once I knew this was it, might as well say it. So I try to have at least 15 minutes of still time and just kind of sitting with my thoughts in the morning and just kind of meditating. Normally what happens with me is my mind would always drift to the game. Always. And then I found myself sitting there, my mind wouldn't drift towards the game all the time anymore. And that's when I started realizing, you know what? It's getting close. I was such a huge Laker fan growing up. I mean, like a diehard Laker fan. I had magic posters, you know, magic t-shirts. It was my dream to be a Los Angeles Laker. And so, you know, to be here for 20 years and to get to know some of my mentors, uh, it's been a dream come true. Well, because I think it was important for them to know how much they've meant to me. The letter itself still doesn't do it justice and how important they've been, uh, how vital they've been in my career. And uh, I mean, we, we grew up together and uh, that's such a beautiful thing. It was a slow process and, and it was something that kind of evolved over the last three years, you know, with the Achilles injury that really frightened me. Because I, you know, I was like, my career could be over now. It scared me. So what am I going to do next? And then I trained hard, came back the next season, fractured my knee. And I trained even harder, came back again, tore my shoulder. <laughs> and it was just like, oh my, this is one thing after the next. And so it was kind of a, a slow three-year process of kind of evolving to get to where I am.